is a tremendous statement that is mentioned in the phenomenal book of Ibn Qayyim rahimullah ta'ala that is called Al-Wabil Al-Sayyib, a book that he wrote entirely about the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the benefits of making dhikr. And these, and this book that mentions the benefits of making dhikr, Shaykh Sa'ari rahimullah ta'ala has a poem called Manhajul Haq, the methodology of truth. And the last part of that poem summarizes much of what is in that book of Ibn Qayyim rahimullah ta'ala about the importance of dhikr. And Shaykh Sa'ari rahimullah ta'ala mentions it here in his explanation. We're going to hear that portion of Manhajul Haq. And he that mentions the uh, benefits of making dhikr. But in that book, he says, وَحَضَرْتُ شَيْخَ الْإِسْلَامِ إِبْنَ تَيْمِيَةَ رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مَرَّةً صَلَّ الْفَجْرَ ثُمَّ جَلِسَ يَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى إِلَى قَرِيبٍ مِنْ انْتِصَافِ النَّهَارِ ثُمَّ الْتَفَتَ إِلَيَّ وَقَالَ هَذِهِ هَذِهِ غُدْوَتِي لَوْ لَمْ أَتَغَدَّ هَذَا الْغَدَاء سَقَتَتْ قُوَّتِي He says, Rahimullah Ta'ala, he says, on one occasion, I found Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymi rahimullah ta'ala had prayed Salat al-Fajr. Then he sat up until midday, remembering Allah, making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after he finished, he turned to me, meaning after a good portion of the morning had passed. He turned to me after sitting and making dhikr for a very long time. And he says that this is my morning meal. Had I not nourish myself with it, then I would have lost my strength. Meaning that the things that this great scholar did on a daily basis of learning and studying and reviewing and teaching, and more than that, of fighting on the battlefield and visiting the indigent and the sick, and those things that you find in the biography of Shaykh al-Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, that if you were to read the life of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, and the type of energy that he had and what he did on a daily basis, then you would think that he might be from a different species of creation than you are. The type of energy and vigor that he had, to say this is almost inhuman, that a person can carry out the types of things that he did. You find in the life of Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, Ibn Taymiyyah fighting against the Mongols, Ibn Taymiyyah fighting against the Crusaders, Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala in the masjid, Ibn Taymiyyah in the court of the king, Ibn Taymiyyah in the prison, Ibn Taymiyyah, no matter where he was at, the type of energy that he had and the type of vigor that he had, if you want to know the secret to his strength, then it was found in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi hudur al-qalb, and he with a focused heart.